Well, uh, many thanks, Annalisa, for inviting me to this conversation. It's a pleasure for me. And um, well, I, I will go directly to your question. <clears throat> Without any doubt, we have been, we are living in turbulent times in a world of growing complexity and exponential effects for the goods and for the bad. No, uh, it's a global scenario that requires resilience and transformation skills, both for countries and for companies. And we have been facing this previous COVID, uh, where the fourth industrial revolution uh, probably injected an enormous amount of technology, digital, exponential, combinational, that uh, is forcing or inviting all companies to review their strategies, their position in their business model, operating model, engagement models. And that uh, uh, um, trigger uh, a race for all companies around the world to transform. And, and, and Latin American companies are part of that. The problem is that uh, we are not all uh, the same well prepared for that. It's a global competition and a global uh, transformation moment uh, that not everybody can follow the same, uh, with the same uh, level of proficiency. No? Uh, and uh, if you uh, ask me how well prepared are our companies uh, to face this challenge, I would say that first of all, it's important to remove the Latin American countries and companies operating in, in them uh, has been facing a series of increasing difficulties and challenges to grow and compete uh, in, internationally from this latitude. And I, I would organize those challenges in four uh, or five categories. The first one is the um, challenge uh, of improving microeconomic competitiveness. No, um, Although most of the economies in Latin America during the first decade of the 2000s has shown some kind of virtue cycle, um, none, uh, mostly none of the uh, economies managed to improve in their uh, competitiveness ranking, showing that we are finding difficult to, uh, uh, to cope with the pace of the global economy. And in the second decade of uh, the 2000, uh, the, the, the growth has low in most of the countries, uh, the rate of growth has low, and uh, difficulties persist. And what are the main difficulties behind that? No? Are policy uncertain, uncertainty with populisms going in and out that make uh, environment uncertain and difficult for investors to, to get in? institutional weaknesses with high perception of uh, corruption in many in many countries, the cost, uh, time and administrative bureaucracy related to doing business, the digital gap, the poor infrastructure, uh, logistic infrastructure that now is so important uh, in, a, in, a, in an economy that is going faster, that is going at another productivity level, that uh, where e-commerce is growing. Uh, a, a difficulty also to uh, create efficient innovation ecosystems, access to talent and rigidity of labor markets, just to mention a few and the financial markets also are weak, et cetera, et cetera. So that has been a, a, a historical a, a challenge for Latin American companies. On top of that, I would say in the second category of the challenges that we are facing, uh, we are facing the pressure to innovate and transform to compete in the digital economy. Um, and the problem is that the success to do so not only depends on the own competencies of the company that has to be transformed, but uh, on the sophistication of the value change they are in. And the, the difference maybe that we see uh, in Latin America in comparison with other developing countries is that uh, the sophistication capabilities, access to resources, access to technology, access to leadership and talents within a, a value change is very uneven. 
So you have foreign companies that probably are more linked to uh, 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 the, the, the global best practices that probably can push the needle. But then they have a lot of small companies in the value chain that don't access to uh, talent, to strategy, to technology, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and also we have uh, some um, uh, 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 infrastructure is uneven in the implementation of the ICT. Uh, we have uh, um, uh, 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 other other um, difficulties uh, that makes difficult for companies to cope with this. The third chapter, I would say, is that on top of this, uh, we uh, face a growing demand uh, to adopt ESG policies. Uh, uh, regarding the environmental safety, the, the well-being and the social impact in the value chain and the governance uh, policies uh, that looks for equality, for, for best practices of transparency, etc. And especially in what it uh, is related to the hard part of the policies that is more related to environmental uh, standards, uh, that is putting a lot of pressure to some companies in our value chains too, because our clients are improving faster than us and are putting pressure uh, on, on us as supplier or, or, or as clients <clears throat> to, to move faster. And technology, as we mentioned before, is also a, an extra trigger of the pace, of a faster pace in this sense. So, so we are also challenged uh, by, uh, with that. And fourth, but not least, as you mentioned at the beginning of the interview, uh, we have the problem of the COVID. So our companies have been extremely challenged to cope uh, with uh, keeping alive. Many companies uh, have died. Many SMEs uh, have gone out of business in Latin America, as it happens in Europe and in other latitudes. But here, uh, uh, the poverty, has increased substantially. The number of companies that went out of business also, uh, the government doesn't have very good programs uh, or resources to, to help them survive. And uh, um, uh, the COVID ha is a, a creating a, a, a new trends that we can discuss later on. Um, it, it, to what our companies will need to respond, for example, to the reshoring, no? uh, the, the redesign of the global value change that probably brings us opportunities. Uh, uh, so the fifth uh, chapter of challenges uh, would be um, the challenge to keep our uh, international focus uh, maybe uh, Latin America has to improve in, in their insertion in the global economy, but we have leading companies and entrepreneurs that are born global or has a, a very clear focus on the international positioning and, and strategy. And they need to be able to create a, a small international companies, new, uh, conquer new niche, market niche, and uh, create new value propositions because we understand that we if we don't look to the world as our market we cannot uh, grow and uh, meet uh, uh, development no so, so I, I would say all, all of that are the challenges uh, facing our company